I am headed to the sugar works. Fred and I are gonna jump in the freight liner. And we're heading all up to Wisconsin. There's a lot to do in Wisconsin. Got a couple deliveries. Um, yeah, maybe a pickup. There's an HGR in Wisconsin now, so I was thinking about stopping if it really, let's see if I can get some light here. Uh, a little light on my face. There you go. Stop at the HGR in Wisconsin and potentially, you know, pick something up. They have a nice little forklift there that uh, stand up crown for two grand. And if you know anything about forklifts and the price of those things recently, that's a pretty good price. So the last stand up I got at HGR was like 900 bucks used that thing for like five or six years and sold it for 900 bucks. So kind of hoping that that crown is usable and the key's in it so I can move it around. That's kind of kind of hope. Although, depends on the timeline that Ralph had set for this trip, if that's even feasible. We'll find out. We'll find out. But, um, man, I had some great conversation with Sean Spencer uh, yesterday we talked for an hour and a half if you have not seen Sean Spencer's channel um, just a good man and he's an OG OG like he was a youtuber before being a youtuber was cool and he's been around he's been around you know I've been around you know but uh, he gave me some pointers and I'm kind of excited about it yep I am I just can I just tell you how stupid this is that it says taking your eyes out the road da, 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 and it asks you to hit okay like this is the dumbest thing ever Fred's here Fred's got his shawl on. <laughs> yep. Yep. So I don't freeze. Welcome to Illinois. We are in Illinois. You know, around here, Fred, you got to be ready in a moment's notice. Can you fit behind that Jeep? There it is, the cafe. Three hour parking, Fred. What do you see, Fred? I got shaved roast beef over white bread, hot turkey, hot pork, hot hamburger, burgers. I bet you they have a specialty. They did. There's a whole bunch of it up, up there. Oh yeah. I have been on this trip to Wisconsin haven't had Culver's yet so yep maybe I can call Best Western and see if they have the room
They are some happy hogs in there. Tired hogs. Tired and happy hogs. Look at them. How much do you think they weigh? 280. I mean, I wish I could see them better. I'd give you a better. But that's, today, that's pretty much market weight. 260, 280. Huh. Used to be 240. They really get them fat, huh? They're just better genetics. They get bigger. No kidding. You don't want them too fat. You like raising pigs, Fred? I do. You're smart. Smartest barnyard animal by far. They eat in one corner, drink in another corner, poop in another corner, and sleep in another corner. Hmm. They have a living room, yeah. bedroom, and a bathroom. Or a kitchen. A kitchen. Lots of hogs, Fred. Well, there's some happy hogs, though. You've got the perfect opportunity to make a good video. And you got what, of showing hogs on being rushed, unloaded? Rush to HGR. Okay, I'm going to... I'm going to see if you can figure this turn out. Yeah. Okay. I'm not going to tell you. I might be able to. I'm not... Are you okay that I'm not telling you which way to turn? I'm good. So far. All right. So Fred and I are going to my favorite place. Have a new location here in Watertown, Wisconsin. HGR Industrial. I uh, my team has banned me from here, but I still find ways to get the HGR Industrial. We might get a new fork. New to us, anyway. I'm gonna park on that sidewalk. Don't park on that sidewalk. There it is. Green light's on, buddy. This is the one. Where's the key? Let's see if it's got a key. Maybe this key will work. I don't know. I think they're all the same. Hoses in the front are shot. I see the hoses are shot. I mean, they'll work for a little while. Until you get it home. Put it right in the back of the box truck. We're going to drive it home. I think we should measure and make sure we can get that sugar out first. Or else put it in there first. I think so. You can't buy something for two grand like this. 3,700 pound lift capacity. What stop do I take it to? Yeah. No, I'm the general manager. Sweet. I'm Nate. This is the Maple Farmer. Okay. And I buy a lot of stuff. We're in from Ohio. I go to Euclid Place. Oh, okay. Yeah, you guys are up from Ohio. We're regulars. That's good. Should have heard him giggle cool. when we come into HGR. Oh, yeah. He just, yeah. Well, I don't. I would not say that you guys buy too much. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's weird. I wouldn't. I would have got away with it if I wasn't buying more. <laughs> you probably would. You could hear us. Bang! 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 bang. <laughs> right. Oh, we take the keys out and we put them in the lockbox, so we will. So people like you can't come in here and. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's exactly right. <laughs> so yeah, if it says it has a key and stuff, it's got a, it's got a tag. And okay, I'll put it. this back in the morning. How many square feet you got in a roof? It's about 250,000 square feet for the whole facility. Um, and that includes uh, our incoming area and our offices. It might be a little bit over 250,000 square feet. So. What was this plant before? So it used to be a manufacturing uh, company that made... Um, ranges, microwave ovens, uh, garbage disposals, um, appliances. appliances, so they did the sheet metal painting, 
Um, and they also did like R. It wasn't Raytheon, was it? It wasn't Raytheon. I think Raytheon's got uh, a lot of divisions. I think they're into aerospace and defense as well as. I think uh, they own Gibson, uh, some of those for a while. Yeah, yeah. They're into a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of markets. So. 250, so you're one fourth the size of Euclid. Yeah, we're about a third of the size. Um, Euclid is a million square feet, right. but they don't use all of it and they lease some of it. Uh, or I guess that may have changed now. But they, I think they have a two different owner, so, so they lease a certain portion. There it is. HGR. You can work at HGR. Oh, buddy. They don't have to hire me. I'm a free, I'm like a real employee. Put it in R. I put it in R. I just wasn't steering it right. Yeah, you're in business. We got a forklift, Fred. Cool. Another load coming in. Just picked up another forklift. Stand-up forklift, crown forklift, two grand. Battery works, even has the water uh, when you have industrial electric forklifts, you got to add water, pure water, constantly to the battery to make them work. So yesterday, Fred and I left from Ohio. I wanted to make sure I got his gear grinding on there. I needed to get that on there. How you doing, Fred? How's the uh, shift going? Well, I'm not. It's all right. We are. Tr Ralph and Fred want a new transmission, and they are doing their best to get hey, it. Hey, we grind them as much or more. There's no proof of that. It's not on video. There is no proof that I've ground these gears at all. So, anyways, uh, we left from Ohio, went to Illinois, drove through Chicago, got up here to Watertown, Wisconsin, made a delivery first thing this morning, and then I, I had to go to HDR. Um, and then now we are headed to do our first uh, maple sugar delivery. Uh, we did pick up a forklift at HGR, which I'm super excited about. Um, the last forklift I bought, I paid 900 bucks for it at HGR in Euclid about six, seven years ago, and I sold it for 800 bucks. So I'm pretty satisfied that this will be a pretty good deal for us. It's a crown and to buy a functioning electric forklift with side shift that can lift 3,700 pounds. I mean, I could turn around and flip this on Craigslist or Facebook for double what I pay easily. Four grand, five grand uh, for any business that's got any sort of warehouse. I love stand-up forklifts. They're compact, they can hold a lot of weight, and uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. So we're uh, heading to Sparta, so. We'll catch you in a bit. It's a nice little town. Watertown, Wisconsin. 22,000 people. I did not expect that. It's a pretty good sized town. The thing is, I haven't seen the lake. But we got to get going. So the next time that we're in town, I'll make sure I go see the lake. Yep. That looks familiar, Phil. You mean Benjamite? So it says right lane close to the so I'm getting off here. Yep. Exit 55. Pepsi truck screwing up my view, Fred. So here's our challenge. This lift gate works really well for picking up syrup at farms, but there's these things called dock locks. I don't know. Maybe there's a way to do this. We just haven't figured it out yet. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Hmm. Well, how about that? And look at this. 
the lift gate is the dock lock. All right. Okay. Let's see how close you are to this pipe. Is it closer? A little bit. But do we have room to move around? <sighs> Barely. Jeez. You're Barely. like an old woman. That's probably true. There's 125. I said 125 gallons, not dollars. So let me go back in. We're in Richland County. Let me let you know, this must be the county seat of Richland County. What do you suppose the town name is? Seminary Street. Richland County. Used to work, not that spot, but Rockwell Automation there. Based in uh, Mequon, Fred. That's outside of Milwaukee. You getting pulled over again? Are you? No. That's a packer tractor. That is a big mountain of silage. Is that what that is? So they're packing it down. Huh. It's a big dairy barn. You can't really see because your visor. <laughs> that's true. But ooh, that's liquid manure there, Fred. So Fred and I dropped off our order, maple sugar order, and now let me get Fred in the shot here. We are um, heading into Illinois. We're just out of, almost out of Wisconsin. We're going to go through Beloit and then Rockford. We're going to stop and grab. We're going to have some steak. We deserve steak. It's been a good trip. We've gotten a lot accomplished. And... Uh, I called the office and they said, you guys should get some steak. You've earned it. You think we've earned it? I think we've earned it. And I'm getting mushrooms. I like the mushrooms on these steak. I'm getting mushrooms. But uh, then we're gonna hit the other side of Chicago and we gotta pick up a eight head filler from uh, Sean at Apes Automated Process Equipment Solution. He built our bottling lines and he's got a filler for us that we're going to pick up in the morning. So it'll be like a you know, blink of an eye for you. Missed it. Just a little Chicago traffic. Not too bad at night, Fred. Would you rather drive at night or oh, yeah. 8 in the morning? Remember that time we went through Chicago during COVID? Yeah. And then there was not one car. It was crazy. It was my most fun time ever going through Chicago.